information um, and just to reiterate the intro to the full um, the deck I'm using is the Mystic Mondays deck um, and you can get the cards in an upright position or what's called reversed um, and they do have different meanings if you're just getting into tarot it is important to remember that the cards can, do have um, an upright and a reversed meaning um, while I read these, um, these definitions out of my little book here, um, I am going to be shuffling my cards because I find it calming uh, and it gives my gives my uh, anxiety something to focus on while I'm doing the video. So if you're hearing the cards, don't worry, it's just so I have something on topic to do with my hands because uh, normally they just sort of sit and they fidget anyway. So, we may as well make it on topic um, and show you the, what has been called the pretty shuffle, at least to my face. Um, you know what, we'll start off with that. We'll start off with a shuffle. So, I take my cards. Always those top ones that don't want to fall in properly. And make sure we're not going to drop them all. Sometimes you can do it all the way at the top, sometimes they just don't want to. Alright, so upright position. Alright, head facing up. Um, the keywords that this particular deck has assigned to it, um, other decks might assign similar words, but not necessarily the exact same ones, or you know, maybe not the exact same uh, combination. Uh, because it is open to interpretation. This is very much so an art form. Um, but the keywords that this one gives are imaginative, sorry, uh, inventive, imaginative, uh, inventive manifestation and true potential. I think imaginative came because I was trying to say inventive and then manifestation. It's like, uh, me first. Um, ridiculous. Um, inventive manifestation true potential and the page itself reads as such uh, you've got the spark creation is the name of the game whether you are uh, whether you pour your energy into a new life cycle or a new creative project um, hold the book here uh, this is a time of pulling uh, pulling in all your resources to manifest your desires your toolbox is complete with anything uh, you could ever need and if it isn't, the right tools will appear exactly when you need them. Um, uh, uh, you're resourceful and constantly find innovative solutions to problems with grace and ease. The universe has your back and will provide you uh, with the power to manifest your desires in the external world. Infinite opportunities are available as you continue to flow. Be clear about your intentions and use them to fuel purposeful action. The more specific you are, the more you magnetize your creative energy and manifestation magic. So claim your power. Which is all very pretty and uplifting and is generally uh, the way most starters will just sort of read the card. Um, most people, before they get into, uh, like really into wanting a like fully in-depth reading, will just sort of just give the basics of the card. Um, you'll see people that can just pull a card out and go, okay, that's telling me this. And I've seen people do it regardless of which way it's facing because they just know the cards so well that if they see an upside down, uh, yep, that means manipulation. Or they see it upright, uh, yep, that means manifestation. Um, which, speaking of, is the reversed. The reversed does talk about uh, trickery, manipulation, and untapped potential. So instead of, um, you know, instead of attracting and being the, the cause of um, the things that find you, um, you're sort of being used to find things for other people with the manipulation there. Um, and the untapped potential sort of opposes the true potential of the upright uh, in that with true potential, you are fully aware that you're using um, every single piece that 
um, you know, that you have like every single tool you have available to you. Um, whereas with untapped potential, you're essentially, you've got a screwdriver and you're just trying to use the back end of it as a hammer without realizing that you've got a hammer in your toolbox um, to use a, to use a, um, an analogy there, a metaphor. All right, it reads, reversed, the magician can um, indicate frustration and a lack of clarity. Uh, you may feel that you have so much more to give, but that your talents are not being seen, valued, or appreciated. Uh, this would be a good time to ask what is blocking me, and what can I do to change my current circumstances? They're hindering you from expressing the full range of your skill sets and keeping you locked up in a box when all you want to do is be free and flourish. And why wouldn't you? Uh, beware of people in situations that do not have your best interests at heart. Your vulnerability makes your prime target for manipulation and you may be unintentionally attracting some shady folk. Um, use your resources to get yourself out of trouble, protect yourself and don't fall into their traps or be tripped up by your own. Now the bit there where it says um, unintentionally attracting shady folk, you could see that simply as just attracting negativity. Um, I put the card back in the deck now. Um, yeah, so it could just be that you're attract you're unintentionally attracting some negativity, and obviously, negativity doesn't belong in your life because you should be trying to. I mean, if negativity comes along, which it inevitably will, um, acknowledge it, you know, feel it, give it, give it its its you know, fifteen minutes of fame, sort of to, to you know, so to speak, but always be sort of trying to find the positives um that, that is that's yeah that's something that's pretty close at the moment um not gonna not gonna lie um i won't go into details however um but yeah at the moment um myself uh and some of my friends um Negativity has come come around, um, and they're doing their best to try and focus on the positives that have sort of come from or are related to the um, the negativity, and that's I think that's really important. Um, notice the cloud, acknowledge it's grey, but then find its silver lining, um, and just pray that. The next day is going to be a sunny one, um, or you know, pray that the next day brings rain, because um, you know, rain's always a good thing too. Um, but yeah, um, with the unintentionally attracting shady folk and being tripped up on your own, uh, your own traps, um, that is a very real thing that can happen. You can. Um, you know, whether it's through overconfidence or whatever, you can um, essentially self-sabotage and start attracting negativity. Uh, mental health is a real kicker there uh, because you get caught up in your head. In you know, in some cases, you can get caught up in your head. You start feeling like the, you know things are going too good for me. Where's where's the negativity? Um, and by starting to worry about the negativity doesn't exist, you cause it to come into being. You don't want it to, it's unintentional, but you cause it to come, and you cause that negative energy to, to, to seek you out. Um, so it is, it is important to make sure that you, you know, if, you've got, if you are starting to feel that way, that you take a moment to breathe, you know, go, go someplace that you enjoy being alone, um, if, if being alone is safe to do so. Um, or with someone that you trust, um, like wholeheartedly, and just like meditate. You can take a moment out, breathe. Um, if that means you've got to go for you know, a road trip with your best friend, go for a road trip with your best friend. Just let let your mind rest for a moment, because um, if you're worried too much about negativity it will come find you um, and obviously 
we want or you want uh, and that is for um, positivity to find you particularly this year last year was a shit show for negativity so let's hope that positivity finds you this year um, that's all I've got for this video uh, if you liked it give it a thumbs up don't forget to hit the subscription the, uh, the subscribe button uh, and ring the notification bell if you want to be notified when I upload new videos um, I will try to link the website for Mystic Mondays in the description down below. They also have an app if you want to go check that out. Um, I'm pretty sure it's on the Apple Play, the, the uh, sorry, the Google Play Store. Um, I know it's on the um, I know it's in the the App Store on on iPhone because that's where I've got it. Um, but yeah. I will, I will leave the link below. Um, I'm also at the moment, and I need your help with this, so comment below, um, con seriously considering um, doing tarot and like crystals and um, divination basically on, uh, on TikTok. Um, and if that seems like something that you would be interested in watching, let me know um because i'd love to know who enjoys these videos i know i know there's an audience out there for it um but if i started that would you would you go and watch that content there um so yeah um that's all i've got for this video though so until next time keep your head screwed on